Good morning. Welcome, everyone, everybody. On behalf of the president of POMS, um, Dean Manoj Maholtra, I am delighted to welcome you to, um, to the POMS 2017 International Conference in Sydney, Australia. For all the international guests, welcome to Sydney. We put on the good weather for you. My name is Norma Harrison, and I have the great honor to serve as the conference chair. First and for foremost, I would like to offer my acknowledgement of country. I acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples as the traditional custodians of our land, Australia. We meet for the conference on the land of the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and I recognize them as the custodians of this place. We now call Sydney. I would also like to pay my respects to the elders of the Garigal people, both past and present, and extend that respect to other indigenous guests present. This conference has been hosted and sponsored by the Macquarie Graduate School of Management, MGSM, of the Faculty of Business, Macquarie University, and is held at this facility, Macquarie University's Central Business District campus. The theme of our conference, Navigating the Future, Innovative Technologies and Methodologies in Operations Management, brings us together, the academic and the industry experts, to share the emerging issues, to share the research and trends in operations management and supply chain management. POMS is a wonderful example of the blend of theory, applications, and practice. The POMS Journal is among the Business Week's 20 premier journals and among um, the <coughs> FT's research 45 premier journals. I would like to, you, uh, to encourage you to be members of POMS. Membership dues are very reasonable with free student and retired academic memberships <laughs> and almost free rates for regions like Africa, Brazil, China and India. So please see the conference proceedings uh, program proceedings for more information on POMS. And in this conference, we have been very fortunate to have great industry participation in our keynote address and four plenary panels. These form an impressive group uh, who will share their organization's experiences in innovation in supply chain management, sustainability, and data analytics. Uh, these are visionary corporate partners of ours, and we thank them for their participation and contribution. This morning, in particular, we have the keynote speaker, Accenture's Olaf Shatterman, Managing Director, Strategy, Supply Chain, and Operations, APEC. Thank you. The core elements of this conference are the academic presentations. In a diverse and contemporary range of eight to sessions, six to seven, uh, parallel sessions and two exciting workshops. Uh, we welcome in particular our overseas guests. This is a truly international conference. Our participants come from all over the globe. I was looking at that last night actually and you know some of you get messages from me at about two or three in the morning. Uh, it's not delayed, it's there, real time. <laughs> but I was looking at the uh, conference participants, very interesting, from all over Europe, UK, Austria, Sweden, Finland, many, and Middle East and Asia Minor. We've got Asia, um, PRC, Hong Kong, Macau, Pakistan, Vietnam. Uh, we have the USA, Canada, and South America, Colombia, and we have, of course, Australia and New Zealand. Most encouraging, though, is to see the collaborations in the different papers from very different regions of the world. So we have, in one paper, Italy, UK, and China. In another one, we've got Switzerland, Germany, and India. In another one, China and Pakistan. So this is all to be encouraged in bringing the world together through our research collaborations. I'd like to also pay tribute to our POMS academic community, our family and our friends, uh, Macquarie's Executive Dean of Finance and Economics, Steve Brammer, who is um, sitting in the front here. And you have provided a solid support for this conference, Steve, and the POMS community in general. Thank you. I was uh, very fortunate also to have uh, the support and voluntary contribution 
um, of the, uh, for the promotions of this conference um, through our various planning committees. Again, um, especially by Sushil Gupta, Nagesh Murthy, Marty Starr, Chris Voss, Chris is somewhere around here, Chris, yes, and Virpi Tukalainen and Yoshi Matsui. So covering the areas of Americas and Europe and Asia. And we have many to thank for the conference management. Uh, conference management committee have had valuable and untiring assistance from Vic Courtian, Vic Stand Up, conference proceedings editor. Oh, we, yeah, thank you, Vic. <laughs> And uh, Julie Cox, who is our web and systems manager, and also my daughter, she's been roped in, Andrea, to do quite a lot of the, um, the, the things that we forgot to do. Uh, so many p participants of the plenary sessions were also through our industry contacts of Vic and Julie and Associate Professor Debbie Haskey Leventhal, who you will see later on tomorrow. Uh, we've never got off this far if not for our valuable MGSM and Macquarie professional admin staff and the people that you'll see around here and our MBA students. They have uh, generously volunteered their services and you'll see them serving at the registration, uh, registration desk in our photography and filming and technical support. Okay. And all in all, it's been a great team effort. So in conclusion, I would like to thank you, the conference registrants, for your attendance and your participation of, your of this conference. Uh, we hope you will enjoy the content and networking, as well as our conference dinner and Sydney Harbour Cruise. I hope you're all coming to that. Yeah? And that will showcase our beautiful Harbour City. Thank you very much. And at this stage, I'd just like to invite Vic, if you can come up and do a few housekeeping matters, and then Steve, uh, if you can um, say a few words, followed by um, Alof. Thank you. Thanks, Norman. I don't need the mic. I've got no. a very loud voice. Um, just a couple of housekeeping uh, issues or, or uh, things to address. First of all, the crews. Uh, in your packages, you should see a map which gives you the direction on how to get from here to the wall. Uh, welcome to Sydney, uh, to our wonderful city. I hope you get some time to get out and about and to enjoy it. It's fabulous. As Norma says, the weather is good. 40 degrees on Thursday may not feel quite so good, but um, uh, and it'll be a bit sweaty, I'm sure, but you know, you'll know you cope with that. I see many of you in your coats and ties. They'll be, they'll be coming off in the next few days, I'm sure. Uh, welcome to uh, Macquarie University's city campus uh, for your POMS 2017 International Conference. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name's Steve Brammer, and I'm Executive Dean of the Faculty of Business and Economics. I'd like to add my tribute to Norma's for those that have organized the event. I think this is a fantastic event. Uh, an enormous amount of work has gone into uh, organising it and providing what I hope will be a fantastic programme, uh, social and intellectual. So welcome, uh, welcome to our university and welcome to our city campus. I'd like to add my respects to those already paid by Norma to any Indigenous and Torres Strait Islander guests here today and to their elders uh, past and present. Um, as a dean, uh, it's important uh, and refreshing, I think, to retain uh, a connection to core academic activity, uh, whether that lies in developing or expressing ideas uh, that might change the world, uh, whether it's sharing scholarly debates and disagreements, um, whether it's discussions of how to advance practice uh, or pedagogy uh, in the fields that we're passionate about. I think it's uh, really important that uh, one retains a connection to that core academic enterprise as well as doing all the sort of uh, managerialist stuff that we're bound to do these days. I'm very happy that I've got the time not only to welcome you to the uh, conference this morning uh, but also to participate in a plenary tomorrow and probably I'll be here for most of the day uh, tomorrow if I can get away from, get away from campus joy. Um, as someone whose academic work has skirted at the edges of your world, so my work's really uh, been focused on um, how firms develop and implement strategies in relation to social and environmental impacts, uh, I've always been impressed by the commitment of scholars uh, in the operations management community uh, to relevance as well as rigor. You know, I think you see that in some of the way in which the conference program has been put together and the commitment to welcome practice voices uh, into the uh, academic dialogue. 
Uh, now more than ever before, I think the world needs good ideas uh, and committed professionals to help solve many of the problems um, that face us. Trump wants to go to the moon, apparently. I mean, this is the kind of world we live in uh, these days. That's a very short. Well, I think we'd all welcome him going to the moon. I don't know whether, <laughs> whether we necessarily want anybody else to go there. Um, I'm excited to welcome you to our city campus, and I thought I'd say a little bit about uh, about the venue. This is the, the home of our um, post experience and corporate education. Uh, since January this year. Uh, we teach our MBA here uh, and our applied finance professional programs uh, as well as using it as a platform for engagement with the business and political communities um, here in New South Wales uh, as well as a venue for business engagement more broadly uh, and for events for our alumni and partners. Um, the university has uh, uh, a really impressive art collection. This is one of the things I didn't know before I landed. You'll gain. I'm not. You'll guess that I'm not Australian, right? By my accent. Uh, before I landed on these shores 12 months or so ago, uh, I had no idea about this. Um, but storage is expensive, and I'm sure you, as operations scholars, understand that storage is expensive. And therefore, the university have basically given us free reign to ha get our hands on the art collection. So, I encourage you do take a wander around. The, there are two floors of the city campus: this one and one below. There's loads of the university's art collection on, on the walls. Do do get out and about and, and have a look uh, around the rest of the campus uh, and at the art that's there. I'm delighted that uh, you've chosen to hold your international conference in Sydney this year uh, and to see such a healthy, uh, healthy group of uh, attendees. Um, uh, Norma tells me this morning there's about 150 of you. I counted 24 countries, I think, uh, when I was doing my prep uh, a few days ago. Uh, that's an impressive group. Uh, and it's a great time to visit Sydney, both personally, we're at the cusp of our summer, as I say, it's going to get a bit warmer than most would like, I think, this week. Um, but it's a wonderful, uh, a wonderful fresh time of year uh, ahead of Christmas. Uh, and I know from folks back at home, there's plenty of snow on the ground in the Midlands. Um, you know, you won't see any snow. I, don't, I can't remember the last time there's been, but probably not been snow except for the outer reaches in Sydney for about 20 years or so. So uh, you're safe from that hazard. Um, uh, and I hope you, you can take some time to enjoy Sydney uh, and the rest of uh, our wonderful country. Professionally, I think it's also an interesting time to come to Australia, particularly with a theme like uh, navigating the future innovative technologies. I mean, one thing I haven't realised uh, uh, and became frustrated by five minutes after landing was Amazon that didn't exist essentially other than a book, e-book retailer in Australia until about two weeks ago. Right? So Amazon has just arrived uh, in uh, Australia and this is ruffling quite a few feathers locally. Um, I'm not sure quite what they're going to make of Amazon's innovative technologies and methodologies. Uh, the Australian retail scene, I think, is quite uh, anxious about how that's going to develop. And I think uh, there's, there's some space there for a fertile conversation around operations management. In closing, then, let me just uh, once again welcome you all to uh, Macquarie University and our city campus uh, and, to, uh, and to the city of Sydney uh, and wish you all the best for a fantastic uh, conference. I hope you have a, a wonderful time. With that all said, let me now let us welcome uh, Olaf Shatterman to deliver the keynote address. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, when I was speaking earlier with, uh, with Steve and I uh, understood where he came from, uh, it sort of started to make sense to me why this is called the POMS conference. <laughs> so are there many Australians in the room? Can you put your hand up if you're Australian? You would have gotten the POMS dog. So basically, POMS is a nickname for English people that have resided in Australia. So, hence, I thought this was maybe a conference of Steve and his, and his mates, but uh, no, no, it's great to see so many academics around here and, and business people. Um, and, you know, academics, working with academics, I was talking with, with Steve about it earlier. Um, and it is great to do that. And I know that it's a challenge in contemporary academic institutions. How do you how do you you know mix business and, and academic? How do you get that balance right? Um, you know, I for instance have worked a lot with um, my my colleagues um, in in the UK with uh, Professor Martin Christopher uh, from Cranfield, who's a 
absolute guru in supply chain. He's now retired. Um, work a lot with David Simchi Levi, a professor at MIT. And uh, in fact, we've actually acquired his business um, using advanced analytics, fresh algorithms, etc., to really get into the core of operations engineering um, and help us to drive better outcomes for clients in this incredibly exciting field of, um, of industry engineering. Um, the theme of this conference, Navigating the Future, Innovative Technologies and Methodologies in Operations Management, is particularly relevant, I think, in today's world. We have a lot of digital disruption and accelerated adoption of those new technologies. We see a lot of what I call industrial consumerism. Um, people expecting a B2C experience in a B2B environment. Um, sustainability is more and more driving regulations and behaviors. And also the, differ the differences in the generations between the XY generation uh, is really coming to bear and is highlighting the differences in the way that we need to react to that. Uh, increasingly living in mega cities, um, high levels of urbanization. So I'm delighted to be here and talk about our latest research in Industry X.0. Has any of you heard of Industry X.0 in our context? Okay, let, let me go and explain it. Uh, oh, I think we need to go back a little bit here. <coughs> Great. So I was talking about you know the change uh, that we're living in. The, the world that we're living, the changes that are upon us. And, and so let, let's zoom in on, on a few um, here. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm trying to work this out. OK, so firstly, um, speed and disruption. So the volatility is not new. But what is actually happening, it continues to shape the manufacturing sector, because we're seeing this adoption now that we haven't seen previously. So we've got accelerating technology waves following up in rapid succession. Um, we've got instant access to information, uh, big data, real-time, cloud-based. Um, we're using advanced analytics to actually do something with it. And there's a need for agility and flexibility. I remember when I went to university, I was taught to make a 10-year business plan. These days, I'm working with clients on 10 months and 10 weeks and 10 days business plans. Right? So it's very different. Um, and then what I call the threats from 